Hello, Aquarius. My sunshines, my little suns. I hope you're doing absolutely fantastic. I have a special place in my heart for Aquarius. I always have. Um, one of my best friends is an Aquarius. Food for thought, okay? So, this is going to be your reading for the beginning of September. Okay, um, if you're new, thank you for being here. My name is Amber. Hello. And for those of you returning, thank you so much. Um, it means more to me than you'll ever know. Remember to like, share, and subscribe if you get a message here. Comment. I love them so much. I read every last one of them. Okay. So, jumping into your reading, Aquarius. First, we have Vision Quest and we have Freedom Horse. Beautiful cards for you because I feel like you have a track okay whether this be career okay so this is what I'm getting I'm getting that there was a time of you kind of wandering and not really knowing what's going on kind of going with the flow and now you have a focus on where you want to take that energy and it just feels like it's the world you know what I mean like you can take this anywhere and everywhere it means something to you you want to develop it it's important to you in some sort of way Okay, so that's what we're going into in September, okay? So going into this energy, we have the hangman, the three of pentacles in reverse, and the devil. All right. So, Aquarius, because I'm getting so many messages. I feel like you have been holding on tight um, in your stance, is what I mean. Like, you haven't been ex expanding out you have been staying where you are, um, but you know that you want it more. You're aware of that fact. You haven't, you hadn't really been working on it because there was some sort of pushback. Um, either you would have to give up a little bit of yourself and you weren't ready to do that. Um, or there's somebody that you're dealing with, okay, that is kind of holding you back because... You know, it just feels like they want to do what they want to do and they want you to kind of follow through. But whatever it is, that has been holding you back, okay? So let's talk about your environment. Nope, let's talk about what's going on in your environment, not what's going on with the individual in your environment. So you have the temperance in reverse, the knight of swords in reverse, the four of wands, and the eight of cups in reverse. Mm, this is interesting. I feel like you're going back to revisit something, okay? And you're doing it this time with a whole heart. I, I feel like you have given a lot of yourself, Aquarius, and this is coming from a real place. I feel like you have given a lot of yourself and pushed a lot of your desires and wants in the back burner, okay? And this in turn is not making you feel like you're going anywhere it's very frustrating when you know that you want deserve and need more okay but by keeping the balance you choosing not to do that which is in turn not creating balance in in your own inner life your own self and it has to do with either a marriage a home a relationship something like that, something that you believe strongly in. And I feel like you're revisiting it with new eyes, okay? Um, I, it feels to me really here that you're doing what it is that you want to do, but in a way that it's not going to hurt anybody. It's not very bad, okay? You weren't clear on how, what you wanted to do or how you were going to go about doing it, but all you know is that you want to do it, okay? So I'm going to leave that there. That seems like very Aquarius words, okay? <laughs> so in your environment with your person, we have the Four of Swords, the Star in Reverse, Justice, and the Eight of Pentacles in Reverse, okay? Okay. So I feel like the person that you're dealing with is taking a rest. This is a, a healing time for them. There are some things that they're dealing with in their own life or in their self, okay, about, it's like not having faith in you, 
or not thinking that you can go the distance or that you're not the one or that um, you're going to leave them. Like not really feeling secure. And I feel like you understand that. But you're also not bringing it up. Okay. I don't feel like they're going anywhere though. I feel like they do have a bit of a wall up and that's what's making it hard. You may not be able to travel to each other. Okay. What's interesting is they definitely want a balance with you. Okay. Um, but I, they want a balance with you, but I see them failing to put in the type of work that they need to, to get what they want. I, I feel like I need to say it that way. They've made a decision that they want this balance or they want this justice, okay? The problem is they're not perceiving it in the right way. They're perceiving it in their way. And that's not bad. It's just what they know, okay? And they need to listen to their intuition. They need to speak their mind, okay? But I feel as though they don't feel like it would get them anywhere or any or nothing would come of it so they're not they're taking more of a passive approach to kind of stay in the flow of how things are already going okay so we're going to talk about moving into uh the middle the mid months it's like a teaser for the mid months so a conclusion for this reading and then after this we're going to dig deep into your psyche with this spread i have in the middle so we have the Two of Wands in reverse, the Nine of Wands in reverse, and the Two of Swords. I see a decision being made here where there was confusion or not knowing what to do because you're going to realize that you're not really doing anything towards your future if you don't do what you need to do for yourself, okay? And also making a decision to do what you need to do and let the other person deal with what they have to deal with. It's kind of like you're turning your back on it. Um, because this other person needs to do something with you as well. It's like they either need to believe you, trust you, or... Yeah, that's what it is. They need to believe you and trust you. So... There's a lot of letting a guard down and someone making a decision for you here. Yeah, someone is letting their guard down because how they're how they are dealing with things is not working. So that's a preview for your mid month. So we're gonna dive into your energy. Let's talk about the overall. We have the four of swords and we also have the eight of pentacles. <clears throat> like I said before, there is some healing being done here, okay? This healing is actually a part of the work. It's a part of the journey. It's a part of what you're going through. That this healing, this rest um, needs to take place, okay? It's like you need to take a break from this to do what you need to do, okay? Aquarius, I see that you're focusing more on family and building something for yourself and your future. Like I said, it's like you want more for yourself. You know that you deserve more. You know that you can have more, and that's what you're striving to do. You're taking a small step, whether this be a small job, um, a small move, a small meetup, making a, a sort of... Um, commitment or taking commitment to another level and this makes you completely happy okay I feel like this is what you want to do and I feel like this is the direction that the other person wants to go in as well you could be dealing with the fire sign um <clears throat> they just want to be happy and they just want to move forward okay um I feel like this step moving forward is something that you're both going to have to work on it's not going to be just jumped into so just be aware of that because I feel like there's still some confusion there with the seven of cups okay so there is some sort of clarity and I feel like the clarity is that you know that you're going to have to take this slow or that you already take things slow okay but something needs to be brought out into the open. I'm hearing like there's something that needs to be spoken about about what you want for your future. There's going to be some confusion attached to it because I feel like the this is a sp 
spring on the other person or they didn't expect it they may have wanted it but I don't think that they expected what you're about to say and this is the fire that's going to help you move forward okay out of confusion because right now it's like you're not sure if you want to do it you know that you need to um, but and then you're not sure about how to go about it which is quite interesting but I feel like I'm feeling that once you get into it you're just gonna do it it's like you need to break through and discuss it or talk to another person about it but then when you do it you're gonna do it so I feel like once the epiphany happens okay with the with the five of coins here someone does feel like you betrayed them um, but to me I feel like they're putting their self out it, you're not putting them out they're putting themselves out okay they feel a little bit of betrayal by this but um, it all has to do with their perception or how they perceived this conversation but you were doing it all out of love I, I really feel that way you were doing it with a kind heart and openness you aren't trying to be mean you just want someone to see that you need to nurture your own desires and your own drive and what it is that you want you're definitely becoming clear and speaking your truth now a lot more and that's because you want something that's gonna last you want something that's going to be real um, and also something that makes you feel good in your life so this other person is just going to have to deal with it. Because you've definitely made a decision that this is how you want to live. Yeah. You're definitely the king of your castle, Aquarius. Okay. Um, your dreams, your desires, and your wants are driving you. Because you're thinking about your future. You definitely want to keep this person around. You don't want anything to fall apart due to any confusion that may take place. Um, it's going to break the norm or something like that. But you can't ignore it anymore. You just need to get it out so everyone can accept it and then you can move on from it. Because you're following your dreams and what you want, your person is going to feel like you're not giving enough love and attention to the relationship. I feel like they're going to turn it around into some sort of, you know, some sort of bad situation, but it's not. You're just standing up for yourself, and I feel like they're, they also think that they're standing up for themselves as well, okay? Um, yeah, so they're going to be very passionate about what they need to say. I feel like, like I said, it has something to do with the union or the relationship. So your epiphany is something you've been holding on to and it hasn't been working. Your epiphany is that what you've been trying to do isn't working and you need to do something else, okay? So you just want a new beginning. You don't want to manifest any breakups or anything like that. You just need a new beginning within yourself. It's like you need to refresh, like you need to be born again. You may need a project to work on or something to be a part of, okay? Okay. Um, for some of you in relationships, you want more stability. You want more stability. Yeah, I feel like someone see, feels like you're not seeing eye to eye to them, with them, but they can't see that you're trying to move forward and that you're thinking at the bigger picture. You're thinking about being an individual and also having a relationship as well. You know what I mean? Like, you want to merge the two. You don't want it to be separate. So let's see what this King of Swords is telling me. Yeah, you're definitely putting an end to the old. The old ways of things. You're not cutting anybody out. You're just healing the situation I feel with this, okay? The thoughts that you've been holding in your head, you know, kind of living a double life. Like, wanting to do something else and also this. And you want to merge all of these things together. Yeah, you're tired of these cycles or that this cycle that you have been going in. So you definitely want to change. You want to love the skin you're in, they're telling me. You want to love your life. You want to love the situation. 
right? So the path that you've been on or the kind of, what word do you want me to use, Spirit? The routine, thank you. The routine that you have been in, okay, is not the routine that is giving you hope. It's like you're overindulging in this routine. You know, it's not your dream come true. All right? So let's talk about love. Let's pull a random card. For those of you with career, let's talk about career first. Um, I feel like you want more. This is a want more in your abundance. You want more. You want to achieve more. You want bigger things. Oh, look at this. Donations, tithing, and charitable work. This is about giving to something that supports you. Some of you are starting to volunteer. Some of you are starting businesses. Um, some of you are helping other people, but also getting money from it. You're really like trying to find something that fulfills you. That's what I see here. And whatever is going on with this other person is a distraction towards you building your own abundance, okay? It's like they need to deal with their own shit. Excuse me. They're being called out to deal with their own stuff and they, you know, it's whatever. Okay, so. Yeah, it, don't break up. <laughs> this is not a breakup situation it's just that there's something that this person needs to release okay about the situation i feel like they need to care for you and they need to realize that you need to spend time away like your your relationship is not your whole life you need something else okay and i feel like a friend of some sort is helping you realize that and also i'm hearing if they were your best friend like they're supposed to be that they would understand okay so let's pull a random card for you aquarius it flew right out i don't know if you could see that archangel michael it talks about Raphael. excuse me it talks about healing a situation so you're healing your life Spirit is definitely putting things in your life <laughs> so you can change your direction. So you can start something new. So you can get on that path that you want to get on. However, it's a reminder that it's going to change your life. Like your surrounding energy and what you have going on. It's a change. It's not a bad one though. I don't feel that Aquarius. But it is a change. Okay. So let's see what your animal oracle is going to be today. Ooh. <laughs> you have electric eel spirit. Oh my gosh. Look at that flow. Going with the flow. That water energy. Doing what makes you happy and what you love. Bring your ideals to life. Okay. Seemingly out of nowhere, a jolt of electric eel spirit appears to awaken you to a big idea that you are meant to explore. Epiphanies and aha moments are gifted to you right now. So celebrate. Your life has the potential for profound transformation. Inspiration arises in you, electrifying you so that you can't wait to get started bringing your idea to life. The revelations you experience now are meant to set you on a new path. So do not be afraid to act, explore, imagine, and do not fear the changes that may come. For spirit wants to shower you with love, success, and abundance that you hope to experience. Now is a thrilling time of epiphanies, inspir inspired ideas, and innovation. This is a wonderful sign for you today. Yes. Aquarius. I love it. New beginnings, new things, exploring, expanding out. You are the freedom horse. This horse can go anywhere he wants in this big, vast, open field. Yes, it's just for you to go on the quest, to go on the journey. I'm out. Thank you for being here. If you want a private reading, I'll be more than happy to do that for you. Links in the description box below. I love you. See you for the mid-months. Bye-bye.